Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the techniques uh, for improving the pipeline processor performance. In the previous videos, I explained some of the uh, mechanisms for improving the pipeline performance. Uh, now let's see uh, one of the mechanism for improving the performance is uh, multiple functional units. So before going to understand the concept of the multiple functional unit, let's have a look on what exactly the functional units means. Functional units. The functional units are nothing but a hardware units. That means the hardware parts that are present in the computer, right? Any electronic device. So the functional units are nothing but the hardware units. What did these hardware units are doing? The hardware units that performs arithmetic, arithmetic, logic, and shift operations. Arithmetic, logic and shift operation. Whatever the functional unit, each functional unit is going to perform. Suppose a multiple functional units I am talking about here. One function unit is performing arithmetic operations. Another function is performing logical operation. Another function unit is performing shift operation. Like that each functional unit is having, uh, it is a hardware units which can perform either arithmetic, logical and shift micro operations. In, uh, now we are talking about the instruction pipeline. So in the instruction pipeline, uh, how these multiple functional units are helpful to improve the uh, pipeline performance that we are going to learn in this video. I hope you understand what exactly I am talking about here is. So in instruction pipelines, let's take whatever the instruction pipeline. So each inst uh, instruction pipeline, uh, sometimes a certain pipeline stages becomes so here there are different stages are there one is the instruction fetch instruction decode okay execute write, and each uh, phase is performing some operation in the instruction pipeline so in instruction pipeline sometimes a certain pipeline stage becomes bottleneck so uh, here maybe something like the execution part or the decode parts whatever the stage I'm talking about the stage that stage becomes a bottleneck it may becomes bottleneck what do you, what do you mean by bottleneck bottleneck is nothing but a lot of traffic is there so any one of the stage may become a bottleneck so whenever the bottleneck problem is occurred automatically uh, the pipeline processor becomes the slowdown the operations here performing uh, the performance becomes slowed down okay and reduces the pi uh, performance of a pipeline so how this bottleneck is creating uh, it uh, it is reducing the performance of a pipeline suppose instruction fetch is sending uh, instruction 1 to instruction uh, decode so now instruction decode is uh, working on instruction 1 and instruction fetch is working on instruction 2 now here because of some missing of operands this instruction was still waiting in the decode session only it is not moving to the next stage because the operands that it wants needed it is it is not available in the uh, memory so it is in waiting stage so here the I2 is ready to uh, perform the operation on instruction decode. But I, uh, I instruction decode is already busy with the instruction 1. So how can it take the I2? So again uh, the I3 is coming from outside and it is waiting for the instruction fetch. So all pro instructions are waiting here. So this you call it as a traffic. A lot of traffic. That means it is creating a bottleneck problem. If only one functional unit is there, I am talking about if only one functional unit is there, there is a chance of bottleneck problem. Means a lot of traffic will be exist. How, why the lot of traffic will be existed? Because if any one of the instruction is uh, halted in any one of the stage because of the operands are not present or maybe the operands are used by the other instruction. So it has to wait in that stage for a lot of time. So until that operation is not completed, it is not able to take the another uh, instruction so obviously the traffic is increasing so if one functional unit is there this is the problem so it reduces the because of these this reason it reduces the performance of a pipeline okay you find out the problem so if one functional unit is there it is reducing the performance of a pipeline because of the bottleneck problem then how can you overcome this problem let me tell you, this problem can be solved by using these multiple copies. 
okay by using multiple copies of same stage of same stage simultaneously okay that means there is a use of multiple functional unit in a pipeline processor design so if you go with the multiple functional unit that means these multiple functional unit it can be capable of handling the say uh, say multiple copies of the same state simultaneously then obviously the problem can be overcome so here i am going to show you one structure this is the multiple functional unit how the uh, process is going on and i am saying that this uh, because of this multiple functional unit the bottleneck problem can be overcome so how it is uh, overcome uh, with the help of what hardware components the pipeline process is increasing the uh, performance so that we will see in the next video thank you